Today we've held a workshop discussing distant Britons, identity, memory and place. Uh, what does the term distant Britons mean to you? Well, perhaps most obviously and most apparent is it means those Britons who didn't live in Britain and who lived outside of Britain um, in various parts of what you might call the British world or those areas of the world which are tied in with Britain, either economically or through other reasons. Um, distant Britain as well raises all sorts of questions about not just geographically, but to those people who are living outside of Britain in those distances, if you like, is what they thought about Britishness and how they nurtured and to what extent they did nurtured a sense of Britishness in those places. And where are some of the places we've discussed today? Well, most obviously white dominions like um, what would have been called the white dominions like Canada, South Africa, Australia, etc. Uh, but indeed much further afield of other areas like New Zealand or the Pacific Islands. Um, but also in those areas like Argentina, for example, or even the United States, um, where, um, which have a strong British tradition. Okay, thank you. So, why should we be talking about British migration? What's its relevance today? Liz? Well, I think in part it's important to think about migration as something that was going in multiple directions. So you have Britons emigrating at the same time as you have um, people immigrating into Britain, and some of those processes um, having multiple phases. Some Britons um, emigrated and came back. Uh, some Britons went overseas for the length of a career or um, you know, as a temporary migrant or a sojourner and returned home. Some of them stay overseas and never leave. And there's so many different kinds of histories like this, which I think are still not necessarily brought together um, within a coherent story. So I think there's a lot of um, public discussion about um, questions of immigration. Should we not balance that with um, emigration as well as immigration? Okay. Andy, so why should we talk about this? Why does it matter? Well, I think that distant Britons is about self-identification. It's about how you feel and do you feel British, and many people outside of the United Kingdom do. And it's the right time to talk about this. At the moment, we're talking about possibly the breakup of the United Kingdom, Scottish mm -hmm. independence particularly. But the problem with this debate is, is that we're rather narrow in our framework. We're not really considering the implications outside of the United Kingdom and the extent to which other people will be in, in, you know, impacted by the potential break of the United Kingdom. So what we've talked about today really opens the boundaries of debate about that, and hopefully the network will go on further and ask new questions which our politicians will have to answer.